Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Futurama. This is season two, episode 18. Last three episodes of the season. And yeah, last time Bender joined the Robot Mafia and uh, had to rob his own friends at Planet Express of some Zubin cigars. I guess they're from Zuba. I don't know where that is. But uh, excited to continue. If you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like and let's get started. Futurama is brought to you by Molten Boron. Nobody doesn't like Molten Boron. Molten Boron. Interesting looking planet. I hate the planet of the moochers. Yeah, those lousy moochers. Hail to the shop. Pantry. All they left was bacon soda and capers. And here it is. Ugh. Maybe that planet over there <laughs> is a drive through a burger jerk, or a fishy Joe's, or a chiseler, or something. We're a billion miles from nowhere. Yeah, it's probably only got a Howard Johnson. Here's something. It looks like a ditch full of fried shrimp. What are you, blind? It looks more like a hole full of fried prawns. <laughs> well, how are they? <laughs> oh my god. What are they? What are they? They're great. The planet's covered with them. Let's bring back a couple of pocketfuls. No, Don't trust this. No, only what we need. Stuff the ship. Stuff the ship. What are they? Are they alien life forms? Alien eggs? They're eggs, aren't they? They're unleashing. Oh god. I thought it was gonna come spilling out. Come on, I'm inhaling these things. You guys scored some primo stuff here. Well, they're tasty, right? Let's call them tasticles. Tasticles. According to government records, the only names not yet trademarked are Poplars and Zitzels. I know. We'll call them Poplars. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand idly by while poor people get free food. We gotta <laughs> sell these things. Oh my god. Yeah. Good idea. Bender's a genius. Hey, Mac, where do you want those rat droppings you ordered? Oh, oh, yeah. Wait a Underhanded. You're not the guy who delivers the rat droppings. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm, these are great. Boys, this is your lucky day. I've got a fast food franchise on every planet in the known universe, except McPluto. How much you sell them for? A dollar a dozen. You'll never what? make money that way. You supply them to me, and I'll sell them for two bucks a dozen at my restaurants. I'll even pay you a dollar a dozen. No. Poplar in your mouth when you come to Fishy Joe's. Poplar Express. Mystery where they come from. No one knows. You can pick them. You can lick them. You can chew them. You can stick them if you promise not to sue us. You can shove one up your nose. What? Leela, that's the second billboard you crashed into this week. Sorry, I was distracted by those protesters outside our building. Get the hell off my property. <laughs> you can't own property, man. I can, but that's because I'm not a penniless hippie. What do you people want? <laughs> You're vegetarians. Who cares what you do? <laughs> Shut up. Animals eat other animals. It's nature. Fry, I wish you'd throw out these weak old poplars. They're getting big and scaly. Ooh, there's one left. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe eating is murder. Be hallucinating from not eating enough poplars. Here, eat some now. No, I said eat. Come on, mind you. <laughs> and only one way to determine if an animal is intelligent <laughs> dissect its brain. No, Mama, stop, Grandpa. <gasps> stop eating poplars. They can talk. Don't stop to talk. Eat poplars. <laughs> hey, cut it out. Take a coupon. Cut it out. Ow, ow. ow. I won't let you enter. Poplars are as intelligent as you or me. You maybe. Yeah, this is. Stop eating them with tangy, sweet and sour sauce. Stop eating the new Fiesta poplar salad. Stop <laughs> taking advantage of the money-saving 12 pack. He's selling them. Poplars, eating them. Is it all right to? We have with us the CEO of Fishy Joe's, Mr. Fishy Joseph Gilman. He's not the person you should be asking. Eating activist, Free Waterfall Junior. I don't think he's the person. Of poplars, you should be asking Taranga. either. Taranga. Taranga. What's your name, Philip? Philip. 
Philip. Is it wrong <laughs> to eat? Listen, Shut up. we're talking about a snack that's low in fat Shut and up. high in profit. You're crazy, man. He is crazy. <laughs> okay, we'll have to bleep that. <laughs> I'm not saying eating meat is wrong. I don't think anyone's here to make that claim. I am. I mean, the <sighs> only reason we don't eat people is because it tastes lousy. You're all nuts. Shut up. Let me talk. You shut up, please. If these gutter mouth creatures are so smart, why don't they defend themselves, huh? Oh boy. The people of Earth. <laughs> oh, these guys again. Of the planet Omicron Percy I eight. The creatures you call poplars come from a nursery planet in our sector. You monsters have been eating our babies. Oh. Yeah. oh. We will begin with the firemen, then the math teachers, and so on in that fashion until everyone is eaten. As chief negotiator, I oh, God. of Earth when I mourn the regrettable loss of the Omicronian young. We share your pain. What are you eating right now? We demand to eat one human for each Omicronian that was eaten. Fair enough. How many is that? 198 billion, sir. <laughs> there aren't that many human beings. A thought occurs. There aren't that many humans. We're willing to wait a few weeks while you shore up the numbers. I wish they'd just wipe out humanity and get it over with. It's the waiting I can't stand. That's stupid. <laughs> We have reached an agreement. Using the twin guns of grace and tact, I blasted our worthless enemies with a fair compromise. Instead, they will eat only a single human of their choice. Oh. We choose to eat the first earthling who ate our offspring. Oh, no. She must be sacrificed, but the rest of you shall be spared. Yeah! Leela, no. How are Tonight, we getting out of this? The world watches in horror as an earthling is eaten alive on network television. This is all a big load. I was the one trying to save the poplars. You were sucking them down like the fat hog you are, and you were stepping on them for fun. I've come to save you. I have a devious plan. <sighs> oh, great. Captain Moron has a plan. Why don't you tell it to Wingus and Dingus here? Wingus, Dingus, listen up. It doesn't look anything like me. The hair is all wrong. Don't worry. The hair? Is... Mm. Uh, does he even have any lines? Just groaning. Yeah. Is that Brannigan? This might actually work. The Omicronians seem to have trouble telling one person from another. That's true. true. Voila. Bingo! That's Leela. I'm seeing double. Oh. People of Earth. Shh. Yes. Yes, this is the one. Definitely. I recognize her slumping posture and hairy knuckles. Would you like some human with your salt? It's a trick! That's not Leela! Why'd you open your bonghole, you smelly hippie? This is a monkey! <laughs> yes, definitely. Where is the real female? I realize this may hurt our chances of consummating our relationship again. Go consummate yourself. Stop talking, you're getting cold! No! Oh. <laughs> oh. People of Earth, if Leela gets eaten, I get eaten. <gasps> Little one, get out of there. There are many good reasons to eat. Hunger, boredom, wanting to be the world's fattest man, but not revenge. <laughs> Leela's garbled words have opened my eyes. <laughs> Yay. Now everyone join eat him. hands. Eat join him, hands, eat him, please. eat him. I'd like to lead you all in some swing. Is he your friend too? No. <laughs> this is not happening. I hope you'll always think of me as your mom. When my species grows up, we eat our moms. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Ooh, that Whoop. starting to kick in. Dude, my hands are huge. <laughs> He's so high. Mm. Mm. 
A toast to Leela. She showed us it's wrong to eat certain things. Who wants dolphin? <gasps> dolphin? But dolphins are intelligent. Not this one. He blew all his money on instant lottery tickets. Oh. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, the babies. Just eating all the babies. Oh my god. I knew it was going to be something horrible, and I even thought it was probably the babies of something, but for them to be babies of sentient beings, that feels like a next level of wrong. And, I mean, our crew just starts eating them so haphazardly. At least Leela has the sense uh, to check if they're poisonous first, but as soon as she sees that they aren't, she just starts stuffing her face with no idea what they are. I mean, what else was it going to be? It clearly wasn't some kind of plant, and yeah, they just didn't bother figuring it out first before continuing to stuff their faces. I mean, I guess they were starving and would die without food otherwise, but even after they're no longer in danger of starving, they just keep eating them and selling them. Uh, speaking of selling them, though, the crew doesn't seem to be the best at business. Selling 12 of them for $1? Like, those poplars were, like, pretty big, like, substantial, and with how delicious they are and addictive they are, you could sell them at $1 a piece and no one would bat an eye. Uh, honestly, because they have a monopoly and they're the only suppliers on the planet, they could have gone up to $5 a piece and people would still buy them, uh, buy a lot of them. And actually, with the right marketing and, like, a limited release, you could sell them as a premium item. Though, I guess, um... The poppers would have grown up pretty quickly and they would have realized what they were doing much faster. So for the sake of comedy, sell them for $12 for one, 12, 12 for $1, which is just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, uh, tons of people start protesting in really exaggerated ways, hilarious ways. Uh, there was an eating is murder sign, just all eating is murder. Uh, someone had a pet lion that they only fed tofu. That lion looked so, so sickly. They're, they're carnivores. You can't just do that to them. Uh, but yeah, Leela decides that... They're right after one of the poplars wakes up and calls her mama. <laughs> oh, man. Also, these things learn to speak very, very quickly. By the end of the episode, that particular poplar was speaking in... That particular Omicronian was speaking in full sentences and knew how to bargain for Leela's life by using its own life. No wonder these aliens were so capable when they threatened to invade Earth uh, last time when they were looking for a single female lawyer. But yeah, um, first... I, the, the little baby Omicronian also begs for its life when Farnsworth wants to dissect it to examine its brain. No, mama, stop grandpa. That was hilarious and also very deeply disturbing. Um, but yeah, nice to see that uh, the news media is just as incompetent when it comes to good journalism in the year 3000 as it is now. Note the sarcasm. Um, but yeah, they have on the guy who is selling poplars to debate whether or not it's okay to eat them. That's such a clear conflict of interest. Like... Oh, they do all the same kind of thing now all the time, and you really need, like, media literacy to not fall for it. It's just so frustrating. Um, but yeah, the Omicronians show up, and they are not happy. And, I mean, I should expect this by now. Every time there's a crisis, Zap Brannigan is the one there to fix it. Um, he continues to eat the Omicronian young poplars right in front of them as he tries to negotiate on behalf of all humans. Uh, says that the poplars would be great with guacamole. Guacamole! This guy's an idiot. Just complete idiot. And, uh, yeah, he eventually negotiates them down to eating one person, um, because they filled up on nuts. How are they going to eat a hundred billion people if a couple of nuts was going to fill them up? I don't understand. Anyway, um, we almost have them fooled with that ape that looks like Leela, but no, vegan guy has to ruin it and call foul on eating apes. Dude, the whole planet is going to be destroyed. Like, just zero awareness, no regard for the consequences of his actions. Um, like, I don't begrudge him for fighting what, for what he believes in, but just the complete unreasonableness and lack of, uh, awareness. I just, uh. And then, uh, the animal cruelty with the lion, there's, like, this... Meanwhile, like, while they're trying to fight for animals, they treat animals so cruelly. Uh, so if someone had to be eaten, I'm glad it was him. But yeah, eating him made the Omicronian extremely high, which, if you eat animals that are high, you get yourself high? Is that how it works? Someone... Do the science, someone show me the data, and no, not by eating, by being a cannibal and eating another high person. Get like a cow or a pig or a chicken high and then eat it and see if you get high for science. The little Omicronian saves Leela and Leela says she hopes it always thinks of her as its mom. And when my species grows up, we eat our moms. Whoop. <laughs> that was hilarious. As for vegetarianism in general, I'm not one. I enjoy eating meat, but I have nothing against people who choose not to, obviously. Uh, many do that for ethical reasons, and I understand that. 
Uh, for everyone else, it is best not to go overboard with your meat intake anyway for like health reasons and environmental reasons, but just you do you. Everybody has to live with the consequences of their own decisions. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, really helps with the channel. Full reaction on Patreon in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.